All right, welcome back for part three. In this video, we're going to look at setting up PFSense and configuring the VMware uh, virtual switch. The first thing we're gonna do is shut down our VMs that we left on from the previous exercise. And once you've shut down your VMs, let's open up your favorite web browser and let's search for pfsense and you can go to pfsense.org you'll want to go to download and version 242 we're going to choose amd64 and our installer we're going to do a cd iso image and click download so it says a 301 meg file it looks like and we're going to have to have 7-zip or another uh, type of program to open the .gz compression once the file is downloaded we're going to open it with explorer right click 7-zip open archive and then we're going to extract the file just back to our downloads Okay, then we can delete the .gz file. We can minimize this and go back to VMware. From within VMware, let's go to File, New Virtual Machine. Choose the installer in our Downloads folder. Choose Linux. Choose either Linux 3.x or later kernel 64 bit. And we can name this PFSense. Store this with your other VMs. Choose OK. Next. Maximum disk, you can do 10 gigabytes. Click Customize Hardware. Change this to 1024. And let's add a network adapter. And go ahead and click Close and Finish. So since we have two network adapters, we need to put one of them on what we're going to call an internal interface and one called uh, our regular NAT and the NAT's going to use the host IP address. So for that second adapter change it to custom and let's put it on VMNet2 tell it OK and then click power on All right, so you'll want to go ahead and hit enter and we want to install and we're going to continue with default key map and it's going to be auto this is going to automatically set up the disk for us
and we're going to click on no we don't want to enter the shell and finally tell it reboot and you can now remove the ISO image so we're just going to disconnect the CD drive and go ahead and click I've finished installing All right, so the next thing we need to do is assign our interfaces. So right click on your VM and choose settings. Click on network adapter. This one's the NAT uh, version, which is basically our internet. Let's click advanced and we can see the address is 2B08. So let's go ahead and assign interfaces by pressing one. And we don't want to set up VLANs and 2B08 was our WAN connection, so EM0 is WAN, and EM1 is our LAN. That's the only other interface. And we want to tell it, yes, we want to proceed. Okay, so now we want to go to option two, assign interface IP addresses, and we're going to assign IP addresses for our LAN, and it's going to be 172.16.0.1. And our subnet is going to be 24 bit count, and press enter, enter, and we are going to enable DHCP. And we can tell it uh, the start address. So 172.16.0.50 and the ending at 172.16.0.60. That gives us 10 usable DHCP. And we can tell it yes. And we can go ahead and hit enter to continue. The next thing is changing our network for each of these VMs. So let's go to FS02, change our network adapter to virtual network VMnet2. And let's go ahead and power on the virtual machine just to make sure that we are able to access the internet and we're able to ping and access the HTTP interface for the router. Let's go ahead and log into the VM here. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and drag PFSense under our class folder. And we can tell it yes on that message again. That's basically because we changed networks. So 
So we did get a IPv4 address. We can see our gateway, our DHCP server, and our DNS. That's all correct. Let's go ahead and open up Internet Explorer. Once Internet Explorer is open, let's browse to the router interface. So the default username used to be admin and password was PF since it looks like that's still the case after NetGate bought them. Let's go ahead and click next. And you can call this whatever you'd like. I'm going to call it lab RTR and I'm going to use open DNS. Our WAN is DHCP. Local area we've already got configured. And here it's going to have you change the admin password. You can choose whatever you wish as long as you can remember it. And we're going to click reload. I'm going to switch back over here to the PFSense VM. We're actually going to see it reboot here in a second. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can get on the internet now. We might have to make a few more changes. So it looks like MSN is working. So is Google, so we're able to get on, that's good. <clears throat> so what you want to do now is go ahead and change those interfaces for these other VMs. So change it from NAT to VMNet2. And we're going to do that for our master as well. So that's a very basic setup for our router in our lab. We're gonna shut down these VMs now. We're gonna leave PFSense on for our next video. In the next video, we're going to look at setting up the Active Directory infrastructure.